mix, mix, mix in the mix. Diretamente do plágio de Copacabana, Muie PCD. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. We are Anna and Edward, or Two Curly Heads Wandering. In this video, we are going to start our journey in an African country. So please stay with us and see how it went. Hello Ooh. guys. Hello guys. This is the first day here in Cape Verde or Capo Verde. Capo Verde. Capo Verde in Salt. Let's start. Yeah. Are you ready? Yay. I am ready. For what? I am ready to have a nap. <laughs> Have a nap, power nap, baby nap. We have landed at about half past twelve in the night. We have booked a taxi in advance that picked us from the airport for about twenty-five euros, and it took us less than thirty minutes to reach the hotel, as their island is really small. Our first day was set aside for exploring Santa Maria, the small city where we have been staying. After we had breakfast, we have met Ali, the tall man. He had a nice smile and in a friendly manner, he invited to show us his shop. If you're planning to travel to Cape Verde on Sal Island and your journey takes you to Santa Maria, we are encouraging you to visit his shop. The reason is that Ali is a very friendly person and he will offer you a fair price for your souvenirs. Today is really hot, around 30 degrees in the daytime and 26-27 uh, in the night time. It's very hot and humid as well. And we are going to the market <laughs> because we have a new friend called Ali, the tall man. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find Ali, the tall man. Uh, Hi, my friend. Do you know where is Ali? Ali the tall man <laughs> Other vendors will try to rip you off in a very friendly manner but it's still a rip off When it comes to Ali he made us a really good price around 65 euros for a full bag of souvenirs and we've chose exactly what we wanted so it's a really good deal The minimum wage in Cape Verde is about $130 so for 65 euros that he got from us it was quite a good deal for him as well
if you finish with the alley, mm -hmm. after you look with me. Because before I tell you, you say me later. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. What do you want? What do you want to show us? After finish with the alley first. Okay. Well, of yes. course. That's why we, we keep our promise always. And see, I see you. Do you remind always. We record. Do you, do you mind, mind if I record? record? It's to promote your shop. Like. Yes? Yes, I'm like. Okay. You're perfect. You're the perfect man. <laughs> That's fine. So you said this shop is yours and you work with another six yeah. people. So seven, yeah. seven people six working. All family. All family business. That's yeah. good. I really love one of the instruments, the music instruments. Yes. How much is it one of that? So we take after, you want to take everything what you want to. Um, we make for the one price, we make because we now family. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we want to take something for us and want to give to someone like a prize if they come and shop here and if they come to visit the place. No problem. Uh, this this one is the woman shirt or is the man it's shirt? The man. This is the man and the woman. They have a woman more not a color. Oh, okay. Like this, like this is for normal for men. It's nice. Like sometimes in Africa. Shop, they someone is bringing them into the market, yes, so like you brought us. Yes, yeah, yeah. When, because sometimes if you people bring it here, if you sell in the people, yeah, after we want to talk with you, we make it over. Yes, of course, no, no to, pr I wanna to promote. So, I told you one guy's Coco, mm -hmm, Coco mm -hmm. is good one for the modern normie. Okay, no job. and what is this uh, other gentleman that was here? Yes. What he's doing? This is the work here also. He works here as well. Yeah, he okay. Here because it's family. You know, Africa, yes, normal. yes, yes. Big families. Big family. <laughs> he, was, you know he was on the road and he's like, come and yeah. to show you something. And yeah, we were like, see. later. And yeah. now he's like, now you have to see my. <laughs> yeah, really. It's family. All family. You know, all this family. We have done some research before we've booked our trip and to be honest we couldn't find too much information and the little one that we have found was not very positive. So we were a bit skeptical the whole time until our very first day here. Although they don't know you, everyone will smile at you and say hello. Personally I thought that they might be very vocal, loud and unfriendly to be honest. And this was mainly because of the things that we have read. On the contrary, they are the most chill people that we have ever encountered, laid back and genuine. And the motto of the island, if not the country, is no stress. Windy. It is windy. Oh, look. They are going for scuba diving. Scuba diving. Well, they are coming back. Or they are. Exactly. Yeah. We have to follow them. We have to follow them. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> yes. Later. <laughs> so you're a man of multiple uh, talents. <laughs> we are going to make you famous. So we don't know what's your name. Nilton. Nilton. Cesar or Nilton? Okay, you can call me just Newton. Okay, Newton. nice to meet nice you, Newton. Meet you. The pleasure is mine, Edward. Anna, Edward. I know our names. Oh no, yeah, because he checked you his... You recorded our names, so you know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I will 
get the ball this time. Nice square. <laughs> I did it twice today. You have twice. Yeah, yeah you good. have two options. Okay. Or by boat or by plane. By big plane. No. Plane. It's, it's oh, second no, there is often. Boat. If you go, for example, today, you have to wait for that boat to return from the other islands that will take you four days or more. Four days? Oh. You don't stay there for days. No, we want to go there, sleep more. there maybe and come back okay. the second day. Plane. 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 Plane, yeah. Which company? How we get there? I check online. I couldn't find nothing. Uh, I have many agencies around here. Okay. You just have to go there and buy. What is your name so I can find you? So my name is Vadu. Vadu? But as a, I have my label called Silva Art. Okay. I don't have like a beautiful pieces on my own. And now Stress Island is a safe place. Safe in the day and safe in the night. And as you can see, you can find a lot of great people that can help you out and give you directions or, or help you find the best restaurants in the city. He want to try something like that. You should try <laughs> because you are an island that you can try everything you want. Okay. Yeah. So sports, uh, beautiful island food. We have like now this guy. He's, he's all prepared. Yes. All prepared. <laughs> And it looks like it's going to be a bit hard to travel to another island because I have no chance. He says we need to be honest because we have no chances. <laughs> I don't want to be so pessimistic. <laughs> so the thing is, you can fly, but I have no chance. <laughs> You can fly. No? Yes. They say you can fly. No. That's my rule to fly. But uh, they are overbooked probably because it's like from today till tomorrow to book a flight. And the boats are not reliable. And they say that you need a couple of days, no? Yes. You are leaving today and you don't know exactly when you're going to come back. <laughs> And our time is <laughs> limited here, so yeah, I guess we just have to stick to this oh, island. Yeah. And by the way, I have to say a uh, very big thank you to our sponsors. Wait. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately we can't go to see Boa Vista, the island next to ours. Anyway, after that we had a long walk on the beach. And as you might have noticed, it's not glamorous or out of ordinary. Most of the facilities on the beach belong to the resort. So if you are not uh, staying with them, you can't really have a sun bath using their sun lounges or uh, their umbrellas. Edward is under the process of development now and you will notice that they have quite a little experience in tourism the level of customer service does not meet certain standards like very high standards and the tip for you it will be that if you are rushing in the morning and you're ordering breakfast well it's better if you don't order it because it will take some time and I'm not saying that it's not worth to wait because the food here is quite delicious despite the fact that the vast majority of products come from export obviously with the exception of uh, fresh fish and seafood
As you will notice, there are a lot of resorts along the beach and some branded ones will offer you all-inclusive services, spa, pools and everything you might think of. These resorts will arrange city tours for you along with other 30 people more or less. But for me and Eddie, these city tours looked a bit funny to be honest. But hey, you might like it. Whatever is comfortable for you, but you will enjoy it, that's for sure. In Cape Verde, the official language is Portuguese, but they speak Creole as well. Creole is based on African languages, but with additions from several European languages. They speak English as well, at a conversational level, so you are safe. The currency used here is escudos, but you can use the euros as well without any problem, which is accepted everywhere. And if you run out of cash, you can withdraw money from the ATMs and they will charge you just a very small fee. When we travel to new places, we like to try everything, especially the national dishes or drinks. Here we've tried grog, which is a national drink. It's a rum distilled from sugarcane with an alcohol rate of 30% and you can find it in different flavors. And we've tried this juice as well, which was amazing and I think I had it every single day. It's made out of a fruit called guanabana, so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correct, so sorry. But it was great. After we had some rest, we decided to go back to our hotel. On our way, we have met a young man that he promised to take us to a festival of colors and we have ended up in his shop or his mother's shop. You might feel that some of the vendors, they tend to be a bit insistent on selling their stuff, but if you refuse them nicely, they will not get upset. If you tell them later, well, they will remember. Please try not to get offended and try to understand their situation as well. They don't have many sources of income and poverty is very high in Cape Verde so they do everything they can to sell their stuff. Just negotiate the prices with them and they will be more than happy to make you a discount. Plus you will always get something for free. <laughs> Paradise of colors. Oh, yeah. 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 And this is my cup and welcome. Okay, but when are you going to come? Yeah, lady boss is the first. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, my one as well. Yeah, no sweat. Thank you. And this for the working is my, my big friend. I'm sure your friends uh, work my, on the my, internet. My, my, my big friend is named Picasso. No, I'm uh, Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, this is the tree monkey. Yes, 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 the tree monkey. I got a lot. I hope. You know, this, wow. this is the. Give me Maria. Maria is the first name you hear Santa Maria. Really? But it's not, it's not. My name is Anna Maria. Really? Yes. Come on. What's Anna Maria? Anna Maria? Do you want to marry us? And this is the Maria? This is the first lady here, the Santa Maria. That's why it's a long time there's no water, Maria. Uh, That's why it's the same for the Maria. And you look, you see, this is the Funa. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come on, the thinking man. In, in the men here, it's, it's many, many, many wives. It's one wife, two wives, three wives. No, I can no, do no. that. It's a two wives, it's two problems. Yeah, three wives, it's three problems. <laughs> <laughs> one wife is enough. Yeah, one wife is okay. It's more than enough. <laughs>
You like this one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Sorry. Didn't stress. laughs> All the services <laughs> included. Yeah, I think it's enough. Yes, we like I like this one. How much is it? Don't like is a torch? We have already bought the torch. Uh, yeah. The torch and the Maria. And Maria. And, Maria. and the, what else? Um, yeah, we have. To, we bought the bag is full moment. with. Uh, Are you, you like this one Maria? One Maria. Your name is Maria. I'm, yeah. We have one Maria. <laughs> no, we just we bought uh, souvenirs. This is the last one because you're nice. Buy something more? No. Why? I, I think we've been tricked. Why so do you say that? When you're coming here, you need to make sure that you know how to say no and not to follow people when they tell you, oh, there is a festival today because there's oh, no nice. festival. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's no festival. They are just trying to take you into the shops so you can buy their stuff, which is fine. But don't get strict. <laughs> then they have to live with something. <laughs> we went after to our hotel, which was placed between the houses of the locals. You might wonder why not just go to the resort and relax and have everything ready for you. Well, it's not really our style. In the last nine years since we are traveling together, this is the way that we are enjoying our holidays. On the roads, trying to explore as much as possible, and we are eager to find out about as many things as we can. And yes, it sounds exhausting, and sometimes it is, but we love it. It might not be your thing, but this location offers you both. The hotel costs us £350, bed and breakfast, and the only disadvantage that I can find comparing with the resort is the noise in the night. Everyone is staying up late in the night and is having a good time, <laughs> because it's a bit cooler, obviously. Apart from that, nothing was wrong, and we had AC in the room, for which Eddie was very grateful. It was around 6 o'clock in the afternoon and we have decided to go and have dinner. We have tried a national dish called Cachupa Rica. This dish is a stew made out with fish, meat and vegetables. It was actually really tasty. So if you go there in Cape Verde, try it because you will not regret it at least once to see how it goes. And then I think we had catch of the day which was a really interesting fish to say. Food was delicious, even if this restaurant wasn't the highest rated in our list and to be honest it hasn't been um, recommended by the locals, but yeah, it was good, not bad. Our dinner has been entertained by a young man that he was showing a really good um, balance in the background. I hope you can see it. It was really cool to be honest. This is the end of our first day guys so i hope you liked it and if you find our videos interesting please subscribe to our channel thank you and take care